this video, let's talk about the new camera updates for Blackmagic, including autofocus. You're watching VP Land. Special thanks to our sponsors, Blackmagic, View, and Lucidlink for helping make our NAB coverage possible. And now, back to the video. Okay, so I want to ask about some of the new software updates that you have. So we have big one, autofocus. Can you yeah. tell me about that? Sure, so the autofocus uh, beta went out uh, for the cinema camera 6K, mm -hmm. so the full frame camera. Okay. Uh, so we're gonna start with that one and then introduce it to other cameras as we can. Uh, and you know, people have asked about, what about prior cameras and those kind of things will come about if they can, when they can. But for now we're starting with that camera and then we'll move up to say the Pixis and things like that. Well, what it's done is it's, it's a new way of doing autofocus in the sense that we didn't just come up with a blanket autofocus. Mm -hmm. There's ways to, so that if they're shooting a two shot like this and they can put both people in there to mm -hmm. keep who is going to be the primary and who's going to be the secondary focus. There's there's way to track objects. Oh, so you kind of rank, I know it has face recognition, Yeah. but you could kind of rank priority of like, right. focus on you first and then focus on me. It, yeah, it has some cool tools to be able to play around with how you want to do all of that. Okay. And, and I think that, you know, we'll learn from people using it as to what we need to uh, make adjustments or whatever. But from what I've seen early on, and it, it, it is very cool, uh, you know, and especially when you're using the, the, the cameras in settings where you're not, you don't have somebody there mm -hmm. to override. So this way it, it can be done for you, essentially. Mm -hmm. So I think those are some of the things that I think the, the beta test will, will prove out what, uh, what the best refinements we need going forward. But, you know, you look at it and you say, the reason we could, and, put in some some technology that we're using in other in resolve say into the cameras is because we run on the black magic operating system and those operate our operating system allows us to do some unique things in software that we may not have been able to do had we not uh, built it on the operating system to begin with like in resolve first and then Correct. okay and is that come into a limitation because the camera has to have a certain amount of processing power to well, run this with what cameras you can add it to? So, and that that's the thing with anything that mm. we have done in the past, like what could get Blackmagic raw after the fact and things like that. So yeah, there's there, there could be limitations and that's why we're not gonna make statements about what is gonna be able to go in there. Mm. But when we built uh, some of the large uh, format cameras, we had a direction that we were going. So that had newer, uh, generations of silicone to be able to to, to to work that out. Yeah, and I know L mount was mentioned as like the supported format. Is that going to be kind of the direction that autofocus? It's the start support, and we'll see where we where we can go uh, after that. But you know, it's one of those things we wanted to get started with with the L mount because that was the native mount for the for the uh, well the the the, the um, Cinemax 6K mm -hmm. full frame only had an L mount. So start with that and then we'll move up and we'll see what else we can do going forward. Right. Uh, and then there was the other part of the update, which was uh, pre-record. Pre-record, yeah. yeah. So that's a, a way you can set a, a setting to to enter pre-record for the Ursa G2, the Ursa Broadcast G2, as well as um, I think it was the, the, the Pixis the Pixis uh, 6K. 6K. Right. Uh -huh. and, and that's a beta too to see uh, you know, to, to and we'll, we'll learn from the beta testers like other features they want in terms of the adjustability and, and whatnot. But you you can determine how much pre-roll you want. Uh, you can have it continuous so that it always knows that if you hit record, you wanted pre-roll every time, or turn it on individually. So uh, there's some some flexibility with that. But that's I'm always guessing kind of set your window to five, ten exactly. seconds. How much? Like, right, yeah, okay. yeah, yeah. So I think that's you know because. That's one of those things where, yeah, everyone's always like, ah, I wish I started earlier, you know, but, and this will give spontaneity, especially for um, people that are doing run and gun documentaries. Oh, yeah, and I've always like liked yeah. wanted this feature. Yeah, yeah, yeah. yeah, yeah. yeah. You so missed that moment. Or, totally know. Or in a safe space, because you don't have to keep recording the whole time to wait for the moment to happen. And that, that you too. Just hit yeah, record. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And if you have the right amount of pre roll, then you know that you got it. And yeah. I think everybody. Uh, one question I want to go back to with the autofocus. In your testing, how is it sort of handled occlusion? Like someone walks into the frame here, because I've seen other autofocus issues that like jumps around. Right. How is uh, I think the they've done a pretty good job handed? because we have designed other software to do to handle those things. And I think that's part of the beta process also is to learn the tweak of what we need to do to fix that. But but yeah, I think this is one of those things. Fortunately, people mm -hmm. can download it and play with it today and give right. us some feedback on how, how it's working for them. Yeah. Well, cool. Appreciate the update. Hey, Thanks. my pleasure. Thanks, Bob. Thanks. All right, so we got the new Blackmagic beta update with the autofocus. I access it by swiping right, and then I've got 
four options. Autofocus, single, so I can tap, and it locks focus, and that's pretty responsive in this little test right here. And I can tap and switch focus, but if I move, then obviously I lose focus. And then we have autofocus continuous, so if I tap, it should hold focus. And it's kind of struggling a little bit, but it did find it. So it's trying to lock on in this distance, but it seems like it's having a little bit of trouble finding it. And then the one that seems to have been the best is this is autofocus lock on an object. So this is really interesting because you can see it's identifying an object. And if I move, it is locking on pretty well. So yeah, this is the autofocus uh, update with Blackmagic. That's it for this video. Thanks for watching. And thanks again to our sponsors for helping make our NAB coverage possible. For all of our videos on NAB, check out our playlist right here. And I'll catch you in the next episode.